Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about universal gates and derived logic gates. In our previous video, we have learned about basic gates and, or, and not. Logic gates, which are derived from these basic gates, are called derived gates. There are four derived logic gates, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, and XNOR gate. Let's start with NAND gate. A NAND gate is a combination of AND and NOT gate. Its name is an abbreviation of NOT AND. In this, a NOT gate is applied on the output of an AND gate. NAND operation is shown using AND gate with a small circle on the output. The small circle represents inversion of the AND gate. The NAND gate represents the complement of the AND operation. So you can take a truth table of two input AND gate and apply NOT on it to achieve the NAND operation. It is written as A dot B bar. Similarly, we can draw a three input truth table and you will see here also the output of NAND gate is 1 if at least one of its input is 0. The output of NAND gate is 0 if all of its input are 1. Now that we have learned NAND gate, let's see the NOR gate. A NOR gate is a combination of OR and NOT gate. In this, a NOT gate is applied to the output of an OR gate. Its name is an abbreviation of NOT and OR. NOR operation is shown using a OR gate with a small circle on the output. The small circle represents the inversion of the OR gate. The NOR gate represents the complement of the OR operation. So you can take two table of two input OR gate and apply NOT on it to achieve the NOR operation. It is written as A plus B bar. Similarly, we can draw a three input truth table and you will see here also the output of OR gate is 1 if all of its input are 0. The output of OR gate is 0 if any of its input is 1. Now we will see XOR gate. XOR or exclusive OR gate is a combination of all the three fundamental or basic gates. This gate is drawn like this. XOR operation is shown using an encircled plus sign. It gives a Boolean equation of A bar B plus A B bar. If you see two variable to table, it gives an output of 1 if odd number of inputs are 1, otherwise it gives 0. Likewise, if you take three variables, here too you will see it results in 1 if the input bit pattern contains odd number of 1 signals. The output is 0 for even number of 1 signals. Now we will see XNOR gate. XNOR or exclusive NOR is an electronic circuit that works the opposite to the XOR gate. XNOR operation is shown with the small circle on the output. The small circle represents inversion. Its Boolean equation is NOT of A bar B plus A B bar. If you see two variable truth table, it gives an output of 0 for odd number of 1s, otherwise it gives 1. Likewise, if you take three variables, here too you will see it results in 0 if the input bit pattern contains odd number of 1 signal. The output is 1 for even number of 1 signal. Now let's see universal gates. A universal gate is a gate that can implement any boolean function without need to use any other gate type. The NAND and NOR gates are referred to as universal gates. They are called as universal gates because they can realize all the binary operations. Means you can create any logical expression with just NAND or NOR gates. All the basic logic gates can also be derived from them. 
you can create or and not gates from them rather than other way around this is advantageous since nor and nand gate are economical and easier to fabricate than other logic gates first we will see how nand gate is used to implement basic gates not and and or with nand gate let's start with seeing how we can make not gate by using nand gate a nand gate is equivalent to an and gate followed by a not gate joining the inputs of nand gate leaves only the not gate expression of not gate in nand form is a dot a bar which is same as expression of not gate a bar another way to depict this is also to consider the second input as always one so the expression is a dot 1 bar which if you solve using identity law is same as a bar you can write this as a nand a and its truth table is same as not gate next we will see how we can make and gate by using nand gate we know nand gate is nothing but and plus not so if we apply another not to nand gate the double complement with negate itself and we will just get and logic so we will take the nand gate and apply another nand gate to its output for not operation as we just learned and it will give us and implementation we can also write the boolean expression for it it is nothing but complement of nand which is not of a dot b bar which means double complement so it is same as a dot b or and operation you can also take truth table of nand gate and apply not to the output if you see it is nothing but a dot b next we will see how we can make or gate by using nand gate if we see expression for nand it is a dot b bar what we want is a plus b to convert from and to or we typically use de morgan's theorem and if we apply that here we get a bar plus b bar but we see here the inputs are inverted so if we invert a and b itself before nand and then apply de morgan's theorem we will get a plus b as double negation gives us a and b itself so we take a nand gate and invert both the inputs by using the nand inverter we learned earlier this will give us the or gate we can also prove this using the truth table if we take two inputs a and b and then find not a and not b and then nand it you will see the output is same as a or b now let's take a look at nor gate and see how we can make basic gates not and and or by just using nor gates first we will look at making not gate by using nor gate a nor gate is equivalent to an or gate followed by a not gate if we join the inputs it makes the output of the or part of nor gate same as the input eliminating it from consideration and leaving only the not part expression of not gate in nor form is a plus a bar which is same as expression of not gate a bar another way of representing it is also by considering the input b as always zero applying the identity law a plus zero bar is same as a bar or not you can write this as a nor a and its truth table is same as not gate next we will see how we can make or gate by using nor gate a nor gate is equivalent to an or gate followed by a not gate so if we just apply another not to nor gate the double complement will negate itself and we will just get or logic so we will take the nor gate and apply another nor gate to its output for not operation as we just learned it will give us the or gate 
We can also write the Boolean expression for it. It is nothing but complement of nor, which means double complement. So it is same as a plus b or or operation. Now we will see how we can make AND gate by using NOR gate. If we see the expression for NOR, it is A plus B bar. What we want is A dot B. To convert from OR to AND, we typically use De Morgan's theorem. And if we apply that here, we get A bar B bar. But we see here, the inputs are inverted. So if we invert A and B itself before NOR and then apply De Morgan's theorem, then we get A dot B as double negation gives us A and B itself. So we take a NOR gate and we invert both the inputs by using the NOR inverter we learnt earlier. This will give us the AND gate. We can also prove this using a truth table. If we take two inputs A and B and first do not A and not B and then NOR it, you will see the output is same as A and B. Now many times you are given a boolean expression and you are asked to express it using universal gates NAND or NOR. How will you achieve this? There are three simple steps to achieve it. Suppose the question is to draw the logic gates using only NAND expression for A B bar plus C bar D. To solve this, step 1 is to apply double negation. Since the NAND gate is a combination of AND gate and NOT gate, we first apply a double negation to the entire expression. Adding a double negation does not change the expression as the double negation always nullifies itself. Now we will do step 2 which is to apply De Morgan's law. We first apply De Morgan's law to the innermost bracket so that we can retain the outermost negation required to make a NAND expression. This will also give us AND of both the components. Now we have all components in NOT form so we can write the expression in NAND form which is nothing but A NAND B bar and C bar NAND D. We have also learned how to convert NOT to NAND. So we can also write B bar as B NAND B and C bar as C NAND C. Now in step 3, you can draw the logic diagram for this. Let's take another expression A B plus B bar C plus B C. Here again we will do step 1 which is to apply double negation or complement. Then we do step 2 to apply De Morgan's law to innermost bracket. This gives us the expression in AND form and we can write the expression in NAND and also draw the logic diagram for it. Now what if the expression is given in POS form and you are asked to use NOR gate only? Here also, the steps remain the same. Suppose the Boolean expression is A plus B bar dot C bar plus D. Again we apply step 1 which is to do double negation. As we know double negation does not change the value, it cancels itself. Next we do step 2 which is to apply De Morgan's law to innermost bracket. This gives us the expression in NOR format. And we can now write the expression in NOR form and also draw the logic diagram for it. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit our website simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.